What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. We're still here on Fortune Island and uh, we are going to be checking out a brand new beauty in this episode. This is a 2018 Aston Martin Vantage, one of the newest Aston Martins on the street and uh, pretty radical redesign. Definitely a, uh, a different look here. You guys can see that huge oversized grill in front. I feel like traditionally Aston Martins are, are a little bit more reserved in their styling. I mean, they, they look great, but they aren't quite as outlandish as some of the other supercars and hypercars and stuff out there. But uh, I feel like this one looks pretty nice. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. I know some people like it, some people don't. I think it looks good. But uh, we are going to start off by doing some upgrades here. We are going to fully max this thing out because today... We are going to be taking on a, uh, a brand new series, a racing championship series. So uh, we want to be as prepared as possible. All right. So we want to keep this thing in the S1 range because that's what the requirement is for this, uh, this championship. So didn't quite go all out, but overall looking pretty good. Reduced the weight by a great amount there. Added some horsepower and uh, took it from an 822 to a 900. So we're going to go ahead and buy this thing up put 40 grand worth of mods on her she was free i don't know how we got it for free it must have been like a car pack car or something like that but um i think normally these things run for about 150 grand new so it's gonna be a uh, a pretty fun car to use i'm looking forward to it i think she looks great great i think she looks great and she is gray is what i was trying to say which i i really like that like kind of flatter almost a little bit matte type of gray i just ah man i think it's such a good looking car such a good looking color for a car Especially on like BMWs and stuff, that Nardo gray. Anyway, we are gonna head to this championship, which is gonna be right over. Where is it at? Is it over here? Over here. This is it right here. All right. All right, fellas, here we go. So the first race of three is gonna be the Fortune Forest Circuit. So here we go. Let's see what this thing's all about. Looks like we've got some clear skies and. Well, not clear, a little bit overcast, but. At least it's not raining anymore, and we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see if we can put this thing to work. Let's get after it. Lots of Aston Martins in here. I thought about going with the the AMG GT today, but I saw that this thing was free, so I was like, why not save a little bit of money? It's a beautiful car, and we can see what she's all about. Stay on the right here, all the way through. Looking good so far. Get this guy on the right. Nope. Slid out a little bit. That's all right, though. I'm not too worried about it. We got three laps here. We got plenty of time. Take him on the inside. Yes, sir. Woo! Okay. Into eighth place. Good news is we don't have first place take it off like they tend to do, so... As long as we race smart and draft our way to the front, we should be okay here. Dude, look, this just, especially when the sun hits it. Like, it didn't look nearly as good when we pulled out of the, the garage and it was raining. But when the sun hits this gray and it lightens it up a little bit, oh, dude, it just makes my mouth water. Looks so good. We got our, our work cut out for us, it seems like. Dude, she's, she's grippy. She feels nice through the corners. Let's go ahead and hop inside for this second lap. Oh, look at that brand new Aston Martin look. I've always liked Aston Martins. I feel like they've never really been my favorite, but I've always liked them, if that makes sense. Like, I think they're beautiful. I think they're a super classy car. I guess I would love to own one one day, but that's if I was like mega rich and had like 15 supercars, you know what I mean? At that point, I'd get an Aston Martin. I feel like there are a lot of other ones I'd have on my list first, though. Granted, if I was... If I was British, obviously that would be a little bit different. This is like Britain's, Britain's baby, right? Alright, so we're into third place here. Looking good so far. We kind of slammed that wall pretty hard back there. It makes me a little bit nervous, but... We seem to be okay. Gonna see if we can close this thing out and end up on top. Woo! Let's 
Come on, baby. We're right there. Vantage versus Vantage right here. Let me let me grab that inside. Oh, nope, not quite. I respect it. I'm gonna take it here though. Woo! Slam on those brakes and pray that they don't lock up or overheat or anything like that. Dude, we are gonna have a hard time getting first here. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Oh! I tried to see if we could grip through that corner and we kinda kinda lost traction a little bit. We're gonna end up with a second place to start things off. Alright, I'm I'm not mad at it. I feel like that's a solid, respectable place to be in. Kinda getting a feel for the car. She's not the fastest thing that we've ever driven, but she does pe feel pretty good. So I think we can I think we can win this championship. So something I just realized is this is actually the same championship that we did with the uh, the 812 super fast a couple days ago. But that's all right because we had to get to the next level to be able to unlock new races anyway. So I'm not worried about it. These were some fun races too. We're on the one that had like the two long straights and the the two corners on each end. So this this should be a good one with this car. We'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Rubbing lots of paint here at the start. I, I remember the 812. I mean, honestly, it was just it was significantly faster than this Aston Martin. Um, we kind of dominated this this particular race. Uh, might be a little bit more challenging in this car, but we'll see what happens. Looking good so far. Already in sixth place. That's what I like to see. You got five laps on this bad boy, dude. It's kind of crazy. Gives you a lot of time to learn the track and figure out your line. Yes, sir. We'll take another two up the top, baby. We're into fourth place. We are looking good. Wow. I can full throttle all the way through that corner. You couldn't do that in the 812 because the 812 is too fast. <laughs> Never lift, bro. The swallow up diesel here. Nearly missed that checkpoint, but we're good. In the third. Oh, dude, I can already feel it. I, I just, I think this, I think this particular race is just suited well for a, a human driver, just because you can be way more aggressive. Like the AI, the AI won't do what I just did, but I'll do what it takes to win, baby. All right, let's go ahead and hop inside here. We're gonna rip this corner. Set myself on the inside. No, I'm not going to be able to pass this time. We probably could have. Could have kind of put our nose in there and done a little bit of damage, but we're all right. We're going to get him on this next corner. This is just a fun little track, dude. This feels like more of a go-kart track than it does like a typical race, race track. It's all about the speed and the chaos. There we go. We're getting him here. We're getting him here on the outside. Come on, baby. Or the inside. Let's go. Scoot. Got him. See you, bro. It's a good effort. You held me off for a lap, but that's about all I was going to let happen. Cruising our way around that final turn there. All right. Here it is, boys. Straight to the finish. As long as we don't mess this up, which we shouldn't. That's going to be a win. All right. So that's going to set us up in a good spot for this third race. We'll be up towards the top in terms of points. Oh, yeah, dude. Wow. We'll take that. Eight point lead, dude. We're going to be able to get like sixth place and still win this tournament. So this next race should be fun. Looks like, ooh, round five unlocked. So we're going to get our next uh, our next riddle as well as a wheel spin. Okay. And we're going to unlock some new races. So we'll have, we'll have new stuff to do in the next, the next episode. It's all about me. Got the emote. All right. I like the design. I like the Nardo gray looking. Those unconfirmed reports of another Fortune Island treasure in the wild? Now confirmed. Listen carefully. Legend says the lady on the lake will shower with treasure a three-star R8. <laughs> I think we can do that. So what's the lady on the lake? Plus, the schedule is posted for the Island Conqueror round five. We managed to find a few drivers out there you haven't conquered just yet. 
Okay, so we've got some more races. All of them are actual like racing races too, which is nice. Uh, Westwick Castle. This is kind of a lake type thing through here. We're gonna have to figure out what lake that's talking about. I'm assuming it's in here, but if we three star it in an R8, which means we get to drive our R8, which is kind of exciting, then we, we should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's, let's finish off this championship since we're right next to it, and then we're gonna worry about that new treasure. But um, it's looking good, fellas. The Island Lowland Super Sprint. Here we go, boys. Let's get after it. Let's see what we can do. Nighttime. Got the northern lights up in the sky. Paving our way to the, the finish line. I don't... I don't think we got first place in this with the... The super fast. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Never lift, bro. Go right through the stone, the stone walls and fences. Why not? Took that one a little bit wide. Didn't realize how fast we were going. We're okay though. Dude, the problem with this is just it's such a short, it's such a short race. Doesn't really give us ample time to, to make the moves that we want to make, you know what I mean? All right, we want to stay on the left up here. We can come in hot, stay on the left. We're gonna be able to squeeze through. Try to get around him there. We're getting a little bit aggressive, but that's all right. If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, right, boys? Oh. <laughs> We're getting a little bit too aggressive, I'm not gonna lie. All right, 50% of the way through, let's hop inside. Let's see what we got here. I wanna stay to the left and the inside again. We just don't have the speed. Come on, baby. This is a challenging race, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It's wet. The cars are fast. You don't really have a lot of time to catch up, so it makes you make mistakes. It makes you be more aggressive than you know you should, and it just, it makes it hard, man. I'm just worried about winning this, uh, the championship. That was freaking rude, bro. Just shut me into the wall. We're okay. That's what I get for hanging out with the back of the pack. Whew. We got it though. We got uh, a nice little fifth place. And I think that's enough to win it. Oh my goodness. It depended on like if the second place guy would've got first there, then he would've won. But uh, we got it. Completed all three things. It's gonna earn us some more wheel spins and stuff like that, which is really exciting. But now it's gonna be time to hop into the R8 and go complete this challenge. So I think I've got this one figured out, boys. This uh, this shouldn't be too tough. We're in the R8, obviously. That was uh, the the easiest part of this uh, this riddle. I believe we're looking for a speed trap, though. I think that's the challenge they're looking for, and I'm setting myself up perfectly for this speed trap right here. So uh, this one right here is called the Lady on the Lake. I mean. We've got kind of like, this is more of a lake here. These are, are more of like old ruins and stuff and we don't really, I mean, we have this speed trap here, but this one literally says lake. So I think it's gonna be this one. So we're just gonna set this up. 150 miles an hour is gonna get us the, uh, the three star. We should have enough lead up to it. This is pretty much just a straight shot all the way there. We solved the riddle, let's go, baby. Hey, Trevor. Coordinates are marked. Some of our drivers are heading to the location now. Better the hurry. Finders keepers. The sword and the stone, where is that? Up here somewhere? Okay. Alright, we can make our way there. Just three-star that thing like no problem, dude. We didn't even have much of a run-up. I, I thought we were gonna have more room, but we uh We did alright. Okay, well, the lightning is going crazy out there. Woo! Dude, I love R.H., bro. This is so sexy. Anyway, we got 1.3 miles to go. We're going to be going up this mountain. I'm not I'm not taking roads. We don't need roads where we're going, bro. We're just going to ramp our way through the wilderness. <laughs> Dude, that is so sick. Could you imagine ramping something like that? Have you guys seen that raptor ramping video? 
kind of an old one on YouTube where he like hits the ch dirt bike jump and just sends it. Alright. Now where is this rock thing? That's Drift Club 2.0. We'll have to check that out eventually. You have arrived at your destination. We're looking for the oh, there's there's a rock. Hold on. I see a giant rock up here. Oh, I see quite a few of them. Hold on, what are we looking for again? I'm gonna go to Fortune Islands. So, uh... We should see a snowy peak. Ah! That's the snowy peak we're looking for. That's not it down there, is it? What is this for? What do we need these X's for? No, I think... So that's in the background. It's got to be this way somewhere. Somewhere in here? Yep, there it is. Woo! We found it, baby. I will take that million dollars. And the fifth treasure of Fortune Islands has been found and claimed by someone who might be familiar to you by now. Don't blame Horizon. This isn't our fault. We got a coding stick for that, too? Bro, no way. That's insane. And that officially marks the halfway point. For the Fortune Island DLC, so, uh, man, I guess we're gonna have to check out that Codex to get some point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. We're gonna check out the new races, earn ourselves another chest or two, and, uh, have a good time. So, I'll see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.